It was exactly what was hoped for. This week's cold and lingering snow is helping the fight against wildfires in our state. Copter 4 flew over Grand Lake earlier today. Just last week, the town threatened by flames covered in snow today. It was nice to see many of the structures still standing there. Well, tonight the fire is 20% contained. Most of that containment is on the southern edge. Now crews are focusing containment near Grand Lake and in Rocky Mountain National Park. Well, officials say they are still working to assess just how bad the damage to all those structures are. And so are the home and business owners who had to evacuate. Sean Chitness talked to some of them today in Grand Lake as they begin to plan for the future. It's already been a tough year for the community in Grand Lake, and the past few days have only added to the devastation. Tonight, they're working on reopening and staying optimistic, looking forward to bringing the town back better than before. We have no idea when they're going to let us back in. Chris Stein and his family spent the day cleaning up Bighorn Bagels while they wait to go home, a new business they opened in Grand Lake just months before the pandemic. We're discovering it's a sad day. Um, we're here because we pretty much have to throw everything out. A similar situation next door at Jumpstart Coffee and Tea Shop. Leona Godel has never been through anything like this. This was terrifying. I was in the shower and I had somebody come barging through my door saying, get out, get out now. The town is quiet as residents return, surrounded by snow and the smell of smoke. They're ready for the work ahead, but it's a lot to take in all at once. It's extremely overwhelming. Um, it's hard to come into Grand Lake and see the uh, hillsides burnt, but we're doing our best. They hope to make progress in the next few days to open up by Saturday, asking visitors support this community in the weeks ahead. Let's get it back to where it was. Um, it was a beautiful place. That's why we moved here. The town hopes to focus on locals for the next few days before welcoming back guests for this season. Reporting in Grand County, Sean Jitness, covering Colorado First.